point a few things out to you guys about how to prevent ingrown toenails. So this is the ingrown sidewall cleaner and it has this little teeny tiny curved tip on it and what its job is is to get under down inside the sidewall and then lift up on the edge of the toenail. So we're going to soak his feet in a minute and you're going to see <clears throat> all of this dead skin. So the prevention for ingrown toenails is when this skin right here gets so super dry and your toenail starts to grow up, it needs to cut through this dead skin. And that's when you're going to start feeling really sore. So his toes are starting to get a little bit sore right now. And you'll see that this one is just about cut through the end. But if I pull it down, you see all of this? This is impacted dead skin cells, layers of skin cells, and then he's got a little bit of sock fuzz and stuff underneath there too. So I'm going to talk about the difference between an ingrown toenail and an impacted toenail and talk about how to prevent those from happening and so they won't be sore. <clears throat> so I'm going to have him soak his feet very long because we're kind of cramped for time, but about five minutes probably. One thing you want to do to prevent ingrown toenails is every single time you get out of the shower, you want to get rid of the dead skin that's going to grow right around the tip of this toenail. So every time you get out of the shower, take your towel and just rub it like this. And a lot of that dead skin will just get wiped away when it's nice and soggy. We're going to put cuticle softener, cuticle remover around the cuticles. Now in order to get an ingrown toenail, there's a myth out there that says that you have to file the toenail straight across, and that's not true. You have to have three things to be at risk for getting an ingrown toenail. You have to have really deep sidewalls here. You have to have a lot of fleshy skin over the hyponychium attachment point. So that's where the nail plate meets the nail bed. So it's this line right here. So he really doesn't have enough skin where it's going to be too big of a problem for him because, you know, after a couple of weeks, it's gonna, he doesn't have a lot of skin that's gonna cut through right there. And then you also have to have this little hook, which he does have this little hook right there. Can you see it? Of the toenail. So what he gets is called an impacted toenail. Because of these deep grooves, and we're going to pull out some of this material. I'm just going to wiggle it. You don't want to pull. In addition to the material like sock fuzz right that gets embedded there. into and under Make the nail up. in the sidewall, the body creates layers of dead skin cells to protect the area when it gets irritated. All that extra debris there. and layers of skin create pressure and every time you take a step it can feel sore. It's very important for prevention of ingrowns to keep this area clean and the best tool for that is the ingrown sidewall cleaner. And you can get that free when you buy the toenail package at my store. You get the toenail nippers, cuticle remover, stainless steel file, and a free sidewalk so cleaner for forty three ninety seven. To cut the toenail in the shape of the attachment point where the free edge meets the nail bed. If you cut the toenail square, there's too much nail plate that gets stuck on stuff. So we're just going to carefully mimic or mirror the shape. Right there. So now you can see all of that built up skin really good and now we can get that fuzz out of there too. So this is just layers and layers of dead skin that was trying to protect the area from that nail plate digging in his skin. And again, don't dig. You just insert your instrument and then just kind of wiggle it and ease it underneath. See that little lip right there? We gotta get that out. You never wanna 
hurt somebody or cause inflammation. It'll be a little bit tender for them anyway, just because of the pressure of the layers pressing into the skin. Let's see if we can grab a hold of that and wiggle it out. There we go. So no wonder it's a little tender, right? Is that? what he had stuck down in the sidewall. So if you can prevent that from building up in there by just rubbing that area and then dripping a little bit of cuticle oil down in your sidewall, you'll save yourself a lot of discomfort in the long run. Let's do this side. Now see this orange coloration, that's like perspiration and skin cells. And I get to feature my new file. This is a stainless steel nail file. It's a diamond stainless steel nail file that can be easily sanitized at home use it. And that'll be on my online store. Another thing that you can do with these areas is file them. File that skin right off. And this is a really soft file, but it's diamond grit, so it works really well. All of my clients say that they prefer the feeling over this than the grit that's on the nail files. It does feel good. It does feel good, doesn't it? Okay, let's see that other toe real quick. Scoot it back a tiny bit, there you go. Let's see what this one has under us, under there for us. So we're just gonna rub off that dead skin. If you can't get down underneath the nail because of that hook, just start someplace else with a little nip so you can get in there. Go across, and then you can go backwards. I didn't cut it all the way through. Goodness, this is like attached with something strong. There we go. Please leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite part of the video was for your chance to win one of the tools I'm using in the video. And one comment will also be chosen for the Comment Hall of Fame on my Instagram. And give me a thumbs up so more people have a chance to see the video.
can always tell when something's embedded under there because it gets this like dark shadow. and after pictures are coming right up. All right. Hope this helped you guys today.